Are the Arizona Cardinals going to be missing their best pass rusher going into week one versus Kansas City? Hate to say it, but it looks like that, guys. What's going on, Arizona Sports Fan family? We're back at it again with another video here of the Arizona Sports Fan. Welcome back in. We are here to get our daily fix of the Arizona Cardinals. We are currently in week one of the regular season, and my goodness, it feels so darn good. Now, for the most part of last week, um, pertaining to any Cardinal updates, there wasn't really much kind of going on, but obviously today is Monday, happy Labor Day, and we did get some updates from Cliff Kingsbury today, which obviously I want to go ahead and let you guys know, and you can kind of shake it out to see how you feel about this whole situation. Now, a couple things I want to get to here before we get started. Definitely go ahead and subscribe and smack the like button on this video. We are pretty much dropping videos left and right daily on this channel, so subscribe and join the the community and let's dive right into it uh one of the things i want to talk about here is that cliff kingsbury did come on um press conference and he did say that zach Ertz is going to be day to day this week now that right there i'm worried yes obviously i'm worried zach Ertz is our best tight end that we have a playmaker a guy that's definitely going to be doing wonders for the Arizona Cardinals in the 2022 season, but I'm not really worried too much about that news. We always kind of hear something like this where it's day to day and then closer to week one, they activate them, everything looks good and it's hunky dory. I'm not going to pay too much attention to that story because I think Zach Ertz will be a go versus Kansas City, but this is the story I want you guys to really kind of hone in and I want your guys' opinion. Definitely put it in the comments here. This one right here is also from Cliff Kingsbury. He said, Cliff Kingsbury said linebacker Marcus Golden will likely be a game day decision. Now, I never put a video on this because I was hoping that the Arizona Cardinals were going to be able to resolve this, but truth of the matter here is that Marcus Golden is doing a very non-public hold-in where I believe he wants to get paid. He wants to get an extension. And right now we might be at risk of not having our best pass rusher out there to sack Patrick Mahomes on week one and that right there is absolutely concerning to me and it really should be concerning to Cardinal fans out there because obviously a lot of people love the junkyard dog right but I think we understand the business side of it all I don't think a lot of people quite 100% blame him for the situation he's been a Cardinal before he ended up going to a different team in free agency. He ended up coming back to the Arizona Cardinals in a trade and now he wants to get paid respectfully and I don't think he feels that he's getting valued and I don't think he wants to play unless he gets an extension and like I said a little earlier I, I don't blame him 100% but this is kind of something where you would hope that the Arizona Cardinals would be able to get in front of this uh, more than anything now Marcus Golden he's 6'3 he's 31 years old right I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of people are a little worried about that like hey this guy is up there. We got rid of Chandler Jones. Now, you can't put them in the same price line in terms of what Chandler Jones is going to get. It's not what Marcus Golden is probably asking for, but he wants to get paid more than he's getting paid. Um, and, and like I said a little earlier, it makes sense. I didn't want to make a video about this because I didn't want the... The, the 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 stigma i don't want i didn't want the the bad look of you know what people might look badly at, at marcus golden but if you really think about it and you really look into this marcus golden is just looking out for himself and, and that's fine right but we get it like like he's looking out for him personally and that's completely cool it just sucks that we couldn't figure this out before week one and being that marcus golden is day to day Oh, it just leaves me more of a, we need everybody we possibly can, right? It's all hands on deck. We're playing Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, and we need everybody. Now, as of right now, he's day-to-day. -day. We don't really know exactly if he's going to be playing week one uh, versus the Chiefs, but let's look at our depth. We have a lot of young players that want opportunities here, right? We got, you know, Dennis Gardick, which is most likely going to be the guy opposite of Marcus Golden. We got Cam Johnson, we got Maje Sanders, and we got Victor Dimikichi, which had a very, very good preseason this last um, preseason. So, am I happy? No, not at all. I want Marcus Golden to be playing the majority of the snaps in week one. Do I feel like we're going to be fine? I don't 100% know. We're going to have to wait and see how this all shakes out. Now, like I said a little earlier, Victor Dimikichi had a very, very good 
preseason. So hopefully that can translate. But also keep in mind that is against second stringers and third stringers. And once we put the first stringers out there, are they going to have the same production? Is Cam Thomas going to have the same uh, production as well? We'll have to kind of wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. I am curious to figure out how you guys are feeling about this whole situation. Put everything in the comments below. Do you think this is SOS for the Arizona Cardinals? Do you feel like, hey, no worries, our rookies, our young players are going to come up and step up? Put everything in the comments. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, go Cards.